When we talk about a gradient, we talk about the difference between two values. So, so check this out. I want to show you something because in respiratory therapy, when numbers get further apart, it's typically telling you something. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This first one we're going to talk about is the P big A alveolar oxygen versus the arterial oxygen. This is the amount of, of, of oxygen that gets from within the alveoli into arterial blood. Now, when we look at this normally, we know that PaO2, big AO2, is usually about 100, and the arterial blood is normally around 80 to 90 up to 100. So we know that this gradient is usually somewhere in a small number, 5, 10, 15, 20. That's where it usually is. But look what happens down here. Look what happens when we give somebody a whole lot of oxygen and we take their P big AO2 up to 280 and their arterial PaO2 stays at 80. Look at our gradient now. Now it's 200. Guess what that means? If there's a big difference between the amount of oxygen that is inside of the alveolar units and the amount that's actually getting into our arterial blood, that means you've got some type of shunt process going on. Why is the oxygen going into the alveoli but not getting into the arterial blood? It tells us something, right? Let's take